So in all three of those examples, the last note is what my ear remembers. It remembers this. And when we put together chord melody, that's how we kind of do it. We play the chord on the bottom and have the melody note on the top. And the harmony, whatever it would be underneath. So this just brings the question up to me is what's important that you play? Like if you're trying to play a lick, that's, you know, that's in a mode or in a key. What's the thing that we're going to remember the most about whatever that lick is or about the phrase you play? it's part of our human nature to have either the highest note that we hear or the last note that we hear be what our ears remember. All of this gibberish in the middle that last G note is what I really kind of can relate to out of that that phrase, that D note is where where I I'm left. Now going backwards, does it work if we strum backwards? I don't know. Let's see. So if we have the same melody, and we're going to strum backwards to there. Let's. Uh, I don't know what this is going to sound like, so I'll just make it up. So I have to again go with the fact that that last note is kind of what I'm what I'm digesting, what I'm really hanging on is that last. Let me try it with a different, uh, just a different chord. I'll I'll do this for you. So we'll go backwards. Do it again. Again, it seems like that last sound is what we end up hearing. So if you want to outline a tone center or a scale or a chord, try to end on one of the last notes that's important to that tone center or that scale or that chord. Um, modally, you could just look at it as if I'm going to play G. G Dorian. Ending on that G note is going to really make it go home to that Dorian mode. So the question is, what do you remember when you listen to something? What do you hear? Have a good day. <laughs>